Hello friends, beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is the weekly review of our daily chakra energies, and this is week 17 review, April 24th of 2022 to April 30th of 2022. So this is the review of the energies that we pulled from the week. So we are going to take a look and see what came through. And as we are going through these energies, you can, you know, use your intuition to how these apply to you each day this past week. So as you continue to make that connection more and more, you will feel the connection and the bond growing between your intuition and your chakras and your mind and body. So let's get into the chakras or the energies. So this will go from Sunday the 24th, Monday the 25th, Tuesday the 26th, Wednesday the 27th, Thursday the 28th, Friday the 29th, and Saturday the 30th. So, all of these readings are intended to be timeless, meaning that whenever you are watching this video is when you are meant to hear either any or all of this message. So, it's up to you to decide, use your discernment um, on what it is that was meant to come through for you today. So... Just taking a look at the energies, we had most of our upper chakras came through with the crown chakra coming through twice, the third eye chakra coming in once, and the heart chakra coming through twice again here. And our sacral and root chakra coming out one time each. So just I feel that those cards came out as a reminder to us from looking at the bigger picture to not to forget our lower chakras and to make sure that we are keeping them in balance so that we are stable and don't fall out of balance so easily. So the first so on Sunday First card coming through is the crown chakra, Sahasrara, <laughs> card number 86. So, this chakra is located at the crown of the head. This chakra is the source of enlightenment and our connection to the divine. So, this card came out on Sunday reminding us to work on our connection to the divine. So, however you do that. Do you go to church? Do you go out in nature? Do you um, do you paint? Do you write? Do you, however you get into your connection with the divine, that is what was coming through for us on Sunday. So look back to what you were doing on Sunday and how did you cultivate your connection to the divine on that day, the 24th. On the 25th, we had card number 32 coming through, strengthening the sacral chakra activity. And yes, I know that this says strengthening. It doesn't say strengthening. But I think that's what they meant, was strengthening. So, 
strengthening the sacral chakra activity. This chakra relates well to the element water and the ability to change and flow with it. You can reconnect with this element by spending time in water, going for a swim, sitting near a flowing stream, or taking a relaxing bath. This chakra is all about creative expression, so exploring your creative side could help. This is completely personal to you and could involve anything from coloring, drawing, cooking, baking, or gardening. So, on Monday, what were you doing that was either in connection with water or in connection with you going with the flow of something, something that you wouldn't really go in the flow with? This is the energy that was coming through from our sacral chakra on Monday. So think back to your Monday and what you were doing that day. Was there something that required you to go with the flow of it? Was Were you near water? Did you go swimming? So, I mean, were you coloring, were you drawing, were you cooking, baking, gardening, however that applies to you, you will know in your own journey. So, on Tuesday, our crown chakra came through once again with card number 93, I am open to the abundance and the greatness the universe offers. So, on Tuesday, we, we were being guided to be open to the abundance and the greatness the universe offers. So, in which way were you open to the abundance that the universe offered? Um, did you do something new this day? Did you leave to go on a vacation? Did you have a good day off? Did you, how, however this applies to you in your own journey, that you just felt that you were open and receiving the abundance and the greatness that the universe had to offer, then um, that is that's the affirmation that was coming through for Tuesday. So that was the energy for Tuesday. So think back to what you were doing on, what day was that? The 26th. So, yeah. This was a, this was a fun week. So, on... Wednesday, we got card number six coming out, balancing the root chakra. If your buddy, oh, I'm sorry, if your body, <laughs> if your buddy, oh my gosh, if your body feels ill at ease, this could suggest its basic needs are not being met. You may have excessive energy where the chakra spins too fast. This can lead to aggression and dominating egotism. A deficient or slow spinning root chakra indicates a lack of confidence, lack of sexual interest, weak willpower, and lack of grounding. There are many activities which can help to balance this, this chakra. Please find these on the following cards. So, on Wednesday, we were receiving guidance to, to balance our root chakra by doing, by taking a look at ourselves to see if we are leading with aggression and dominating egotism or if we are, if we have a lack of confidence a lack of sexual interest, weak willpower, and a lack of grounding. So, where do you find yourself on that scale? 
because that is a indication that your root chakra could be out of balance. So our needs, our basic human needs should be being met. We should be feeling safe and secure in our home environment. So if that is out of balance, then we start to express some of these behaviors. And these behaviors are linked to the energy that we are pulling, the life force energy that we are pulling through our chakras. So how is that energy moving through your chakras? Because that, that card coming out was a good indication as far as where are you in that particular scale. So, and since this is a balancing the root chakra, this is card number 10, and 10s have to do with endings and new beginnings. So, balancing the root chakra, this root chakra is the number one chakra in our system. So, there's a lot of one energy, a lot of renew and restart energy in that particular card. So, for, um, let's see, Thursday, yes, this was Thursday. So, Thursday, we had a heart chakra card come out, heart chakra affirmation, card number 57. Love is my guiding truth in life. I give and receive love effortlessly and unconditionally. So with this card coming out on Thursday, how were you being guided to allow love to guide you? So love is our guiding truth in life. We should be giving and receiving love effortlessly and unconditionally so who is it that you need to give love unconditionally to or is there someone that you should be receiving love unconditionally from or you know however you want to switch it up and however it applies to you in your own journey but Love is my guiding truth in life. I give and receive love effortlessly and unconditionally. So, how on Thursday were you being guided to allow love to, well, how were you allowing love to guide you? So, was there something that went on in your own personal experience? Like, you know, we're all different. So, how did you allow love to be your guiding truth? Like, did you just let your heart chakra just follow your heart with something? So, that was the energy coming through for Thursday. So, for Friday, we had card number 61 come out. The Loving Kindness Meditation Activity. So this card came out twice last week and now one time this week. So I feel like we are being guided to let go of a lot of resentment and negativity. However, the, the card says, This is practiced by Buddhists to get rid of resentment and negativity towards others. Follow the steps below. Step one, envisage someone you adore. Step two, imagine someone you respect. Step three, envisage someone you feel neutral towards. Step four, imagine someone you don't like. Step five, once you have them clearly in your mind, repeat this mantra. May they be healthy, may they be happy, and may they be free from suffering. Repeat the process for everyone on the list. So with this card coming out, I feel that we are being guided to 
send everyone happy, healthy, and free from suffering thoughts. So, you know, if you don't take time to do this particular practice, then I feel that whenever any one of these people maybe just pop in your mind, just send them this particular mantra. May they be healthy, may they be happy, and may they be free from suffering because that's what we all deserve. So regardless of how you personally feel about them or anything, it should just be back to just sending everyone out the same energy, the same love. So this is card number 61, 61 however that applies to you in your own journey. You will know. So for Saturday, our third eye chakra affirmation is coming through with card number 83 and it says, I am worthy of the life I want. So Saturday we were being reminded that we are worthy of the life that you want. So what life is it that you actually want? Is it the life that you are currently living? Are you currently walking in your truest purpose, in your highest purpose? Are you in alignment with what you feel like you should be doing on this earth? However, you know, however this is applying to you. So if you are, then you are being reminded that you are walking that path because you are worthy of the life that you want. So how on Saturday were you feeling that you were worthy of the life that you want? So, um, you know, just something good could have happened to you or maybe you just could have been feeling this on the inside and this is just your confirmation coming through. However you apply all of these energies to your own situation is, you know, that's within your own journey. So think back to whatever feelings you had or whatever experiences you had in your own in your physical world and i mean also within your own inner world so that is the review for week 17 i hope that you all found something that you resonated with um if you did and you enjoyed the message, then <laughs> feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and leave a comment down below and let me know how these energies applied to you this last week. So the last week of April, we are now moving into a whole new month. So... Yeah, new energies are coming in, but I hope that you all have a beautiful rest of your day, rest of your weekend, whenever you are watching this, and I will see you in the next one.